Well, fighting is also continuing in the Gaddafi stronghold of Sirt. Our Middle East correspondent, Wera Davis, is there for us and joins us now. And what is the situation like there, Wera? I think there's a real danger that this last but all important uh, battle for CERT is, if not running out of momentum, they've hit a brick wall. We've already heard of some fighters going home, and of course they are still to break through to that two square kilometers in the center of the city, which is held by these Gaddafi loyalists. And those Gaddafi loyalists are now proving to be more than just an inconvenience for the interim government, because perhaps one of the reasons why fighting has broken out in Tripoli again is because those Gaddafi supporters in Tripoli have been given inspiration by the defenders of the city here. Uh, it's rather chaotic on the ground here. Uh, three fighters from the interim forces were killed yesterday. It, it looks like when they were mortar bombed by their own side by accident. So a lot of chaos on the ground and as I say still about a square mile two square kilometers of ground in the center of the city held by pro-Gaddafi fighters. And when we talk about these fighters, the pro-Gaddafi ones, where, how many are in there? Is it known just how strong they are and what, what sort of equipment they have? Well, it's certainly very strong because they're very determined and very stoic and, and certainly they haven't got the same level of manpower or equipment as the fighters from the interim government. They must be running out of food and supplies because they're surrounded on all sides. Um, there's, there's the sea on the other side, they're encircled by, uh, by troops and at some point they will run out of food and supplies and that indeed may be the only point when those men, and, and there, it's an unknown number of men, but when they will eventually be defeated because it's proving very difficult to break through at the minute. What about the civilian population? That, that is, of course, the biggest concern. We've seen um, a couple of civilians being able to escape. I spoke to one family uh, uh, in the last 24 hours from Ghana, uh, migrant workers who'd been trapped inside their flat for, for two weeks and hadn't been able to get out. They have been evacuated. There are thought to be civilians. It's a very densely packed area down there. And there are thought to be civilians trapped in their houses while all of this heavy bombardment goes on. We're here for the moment. Thank you. That's Weir Davis there, live from CERT, with the latest on the situation there.